game we're playing horror built to survive wait what's a horror build to survive well in a few minutes a bunch of super scary mobs are gonna come through that gate and we each have to build defenses in order to survive oh gosh well we better get building i don't want to fight those scary horror mobs and yeah guys here we all have to build super secure bases so that those mobs can't break in so here i'm just gonna go ahead and start building my first base and wait hold on instead of wool i'm gonna go ahead and use some concrete because that's gonna be like way stronger let's go oh yeah concrete is such a weird block i never thought of but yeah it's so much stronger than wool oh yeah you're right i'm gonna use that too all right yeah here everyone let's go we don't know how much time there is until the first wave of mobs spawn but here everyone let's go ahead and just work on building like a basic box just to stop them oh yeah i'm going for a different design than just a basic box house uh, you're gonna think it's super cool and uh wait, what in the world is that dude that just looks like a smaller box house what oh, yeah don't worry uh it may just look tiny on the outside but on the inside it's gonna be a huge underground bunker Whoa, what you're building a bunker okay i did not think of that that is a great idea yeah that sounds super powerful but i'm sure that my little house will turn out just fine and wait hold on i actually also have a pretty good idea what about instead of going underground or going you know on ground i go above ground with an epic tree house so here let me go ahead and just get some bone meal and then i can go ahead and grow all of these trees and boom there we go now my tree is grown and now i can go ahead and build my house on top of it well i'm gonna stay with the classic on the ground style and i'm sure my house will turn out the best out of all of you and uh you sure about that you know the mobs are gonna be on the ground right yeah and yeah and they're going to fight your house first no i don't think so you guys will see and uh okay well best of luck i guess but here i'm gonna go ahead and start building my tree house over here my house is actually gonna be so epic i've got like this purple wall down here just for like an extra layer of defense and then i'm gonna have my main house up here all right well this underground bunker is gonna be awesome and it's gotta keep digging down and wait is that bedrock oh my gosh we're at the floor oh my gosh and oh wait i don't think there's enough room for you below all the blocks um well maybe you should build a tree house like me my whole idea got ruined uh -huh, this is exactly why i told you traditional houses are way better and no guys traditional houses are not way better come on here everyone you should join me up here in the sky we can build a bunch of awesome sky bases mm, i think i'll stick with my house yeah i think i'm going up as well i'm gonna join you yeah let's go speaker man we gotta build the most epic sky bases of all time and we can even connect them later but here guys we just gotta focus on getting the bare minimums down just for this first round yeah and how bad can the first round mob be and true yeah i mean it's a good point the first round is probably gonna be the easiest and anyways just like that my tree house is done here i'm gonna go ahead and add some windows and then it'll be fully 100 complete wait is that slender man and ah! wait, what? are you talking about the first round oh gosh guys the first wave is here it looks like it's slender man uh, wait and slender man's not that scary speaker woman why are you screaming what it is super scary i don't know what you mean no he's not look at him he looks friendly and uh what are you talking about that thing does not look friendly look at how many of them there are oh gosh all right well uh, everyone get ready they're about to be released soon probably and, uh oh guys the door just opened and, oh gosh oh gosh here we go all right everyone they're coming out i guess we're about to see if our houses can survive oh no i don't want it to get near me and, uh, wait, uh, speaker one, I think some of them are coming for you. What the? Help, 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 help. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, wait, speaker one, we gotta go help speaker one. There's a bunch of them on her. Um, oh, my gosh. There is two at your front door right now. Are you gonna be all right? I am not all right. Someone help. Uh, well, I don't think they can get in. Um, and I don't really want to get close to those guys. I, I think you should be fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, these mobs are so scary. I'm coming to help. And, wait, speaker man, you have a stone axe. Uh, good luck. Uh, I wouldn't fight those guys right now if I were you, but, oh. Wait, you're just gonna go in? Uh, good luck! And they took some of my house! And wait, what? They took parts of your house and... Oh, no, right? Because they can break blocks! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, be super careful. I only have a stone shovel! Human, you have a tree craft and actually come help me! And, oh, yeah, you're right. I do. All right, all right. Come on here. I need to go ahead and get some wood. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, guys. We should have gotten weapons while we were in creative mode. Now we have to go and craft our own and all that. All right, but here, let me go ahead and mine one more piece of wood. Come on! Oh, my gosh. He took so many blocks from Speaker Woman's house, but luckily I got rid of them. All right, all right. Come on here. I'm going ahead and crafting myself an axe and all right here i'm ready to fight is there still any left in oh gosh there is still a lot of them left um okay wait this one's coming towards me ah watch out watch out come on get rid of them oh my gosh those things do so much damage and okay we got him but oh my gosh there is still so many left oh, thank you so much for your help guys but what are we gonna do now there's still a bunch left uh, i've got an idea let's run to my house before they get mad and, uh okay yeah quick everyone go to your house ah, i think there's some of them chasing us quick go 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 oh gosh and whoa wait you have some really strong looking doors quick close them up yeah they're made of metal they should hold them out and come on let's go up to the top all right all right i'm coming in okay perfect uh, i don't think any of them can reach us from up here whoa your base is super cool yeah i did want to make my base into an underground bunker but i couldn't there was no room and oh, wait guys look i think all of the mobs are gone let's go that means we survived the first round oh yay finally 
I hope the next round won't be as scary. And oh my gosh, uh, speaker one, I think it's only gonna get scarier from here, but all right, well, we gotta get back to building our houses. Come on, we don't have much time left. Yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my walls, but what do I do? And yeah, wait, hold on. I think I have some plans as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this tree over here because uh, it is uh, pretty sketchy looking. I'm not sure how good this is. And wait, speaker one, you said some of the mobs were breaking the blocks in your house, right? And whoa, yeah, it looks like they really did some damage here. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm gonna make my house out of obsidian now. And whoa, obsidian. That is a great idea. Okay, here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that exact same thing for my house. Uh, I guess my wall over here can still stay made out of some purple concrete, but here, I'm gonna go ahead and make this upper area out of obsidian. Uh, obsidian's kind of boring. It looks so bland. I think I wanna do something more colorful. And wait, what do you mean by that? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna use some of this reinforced concrete and make my tower look awesome. And whoa, reinforced concrete? Okay, that is a great idea. Honestly, I think I'm fine with this obsidian because, you know, it's like purple kind of, and, you know, purple's my color. So let's go. This is awesome. Yeah, I just want a really strong house so I don't have to deal with those mobs again. And yeah, fair enough. I don't think any of the mobs are going to be able to break through obsidian, though. It's like one of the hardest blocks in the game. So here, let's just go ahead and put a bunch of it around our houses and we should be good. And wait, hold on a minute. Why am I doing this all manually? Let me just go ahead and select a position there and another position over here. And I can just run this command slash slash walls obsidian. And boom, there we go. Now all of my walls are made out of obsidian. Perfect. Oh, wait, I need to go ahead and add my windows in again. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could do that. Uh, why am I placing everything manually? Let me do that real quick. And yeah, guys, that's going to be so much faster if we use commands. But here, let me go ahead and also get some glass. And <gasps> wait a minute, guys, why don't we go ahead and use some reinforced glass? That way we'll be able to see through it. And it's also going to be super strong. That's a great idea. I'm going to use that for my house. Oh, yeah, that is so smart. I'm already starting on my house and it looks awesome. Let's go. Let's go here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a bunch of this reinforced glass around my house so that I can, like, you know, actually see outside it what the mobs are doing. And then it should be ready, this upper part. Well, I think I'm going to make a lava moat. I don't want any mob to get near me. And whoa, you're making a lava moat. All right, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I should build a trap as well. But hmm, let me see. What type of trap could I build around here? And <gasps> wait a minute. I just got a really banging idea. What if I make a fireball dispenser shooter? Whoa, whoa what now? A fireball shooter. So I'm just going to put a bunch of dispensers around my house. And I can have them all shoot fireballs. So let me go ahead and grab some. Oh, yeah, that is a banging idea. And yeah, I know. It is quite the banging idea. I am just the best at coming up with banging ideas, aren't I? Okay, and my lava mode is done. And I'm going to add some iron doors here. And oh, yeah, iron doors. That is a great idea. That way it'll be much stronger than wooden doors. I'm pretty sure they can just break through the wooden doors. So uh, yeah, iron doors are definitely a great idea. Oh, wait, Speaker Man, you had iron doors that last round, didn't you? And those were like super strong. They protected us. Yeah, they're bunker doors and they're super strong. They're made out of steel, not iron. Whoa, okay, that's even stronger. All right, well, anyways, here, I'm almost done with my fireball dispenser trap. I just need to go ahead and finish putting all of this redstone down. Perfect. And oh, wait, I need to go ahead and fill up all of the dispensers with fireballs. All right, hold on. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, I accidentally set my roof to lava, but I'm fixing it now. And uh, wait, what, how did you accidentally set your roof to lava? And whoa, wait, this actually looks really cool. Hold on, wait, you should leave that there. What the heck? How did you manage to accidentally do this? Well, I accidentally typed lava instead of obsidian. Oh, how do you accidentally type lava instead of obsidian? And yeah, that does sound like a pretty noob mistake, but wait, this actually does look really cool. <gasps> whoa, wait, speaker woman, what if you use a bunch of fake lava? That way the mobs aren't gonna wanna go through it, but you can just like swim right through. Wait, fake lava? That's a great idea. Wait, I'll just place it right here. Yeah, fake lava is actually such a good idea. All right, well, anyways, here, I'm almost done with my dispensers. I just need to go ahead and add a few more things like these repeaters over here. So uh, I guess I can go ahead and like have the main control area be this way. Uh, why are you talking so complicated? Uh, it cannot be that serious. And uh, I mean, it's not that serious. It's a pretty simple trap, but it's gonna be super effective. It's gonna take out like all the mobs just with one firing. Oh, that does sound pretty OP. Yep, I know it's gonna be pretty OP here. I just need to go ahead and add a few repeaters. Peter's here just like this. And okay, I think this should be good. Whoa, guys, uh, check out my house. Look at all of the fire around it. This is so awesome. Check out my house. Look at how cool it looks. And whoa, wait, you like changed all the colors of your house and everything. Wait, your house kind of looks like a spatula. Uh, yeah, I guess. But this is like the most deadly spatula ever. I've got to make some upgrades to it, though. All right, all right. Sounds good. And whoa, but yeah, this thing looks sick. All right, well, I need to go ahead and keep upgrading my house as well. All right, well, now that I've got all these fireball things here, I need to go ahead and make it automatic. So let me go ahead and and get some observers really quick so that I can go 
ahead and do that. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this observer right over here. And oh gosh, uh, wait guys, I think I'm just spamming fireballs. Oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, hold on. I need to go ahead and disconnect this. Uh, that was not a good idea, but here, let me go ahead and just finish this up. I need to add one more thing over there. And boom, now I can turn it on and off. Wait, what does your trap even do? And oh, wait, you haven't seen yet? All right, well, uh, check the that speaker moment. Let me go ahead and turn this on and boom, look at all of those fireballs. This thing is actually insane. Wait, what? That's amazing. That'll definitely kill any bombs that go near it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. But I should probably turn this off. I don't want to waste all of my fireballs too early, but there we go. That should be good. And all right, perfect. But wait, I should probably go ahead and also add in an iron door in the front of my walls over here just to make sure that any intruders can't get in too easily. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to build some archer towers up here since I have the space. Oh yeah, archer towers are good. I'm setting up my next trap right now and I think this is going to be the best trap ever to exist. And wait, wait, what are you building? It can't be that OP. Oh, yeah, it's going to be that OP. Uh, you just gotta wait and see it. Okay, I guess we'll find out, but here, archer towers are actually a great idea here. I'm gonna go ahead and build a few of those as well, except instead of an archer tower, I'm gonna go ahead and build like an archer balcony, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like have a little platform over here, and this will be like my archer balcony area. And boom, now I just gotta put a chest with a bow and arrow on it. And oh yeah, right, hold on, I need to do that as well. I need to go ahead and put a chest with a bow and arrow, otherwise uh, it would just be like a tower, not an archer tower. And whoa, wait, there's so many types of bows. Whoa, I definitely want this pink one. Whoa, are you talking about the Cupid's love bow? Yeah, it looks super cool. I'm sure it's powerful. Whoa, yeah, that one does look pretty cool. But wait a minute, I think I'm gonna go with this rainbow one down here. It's called the Chroma Lucky Bow. This thing looks absolutely insane here. I'm just gonna put a bunch of those inside of my chest. And oh wait, don't forget to grab some arrows as well because uh, those are kind of important. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. And boom, there we go. Now I've got my little archer area. Oh, complete. This is awesome. But oh, wait, I should probably add a door over here. So just in case the mobs try to get in from up here, they won't be able to. And done. And wait, what do you mean? Done? Oh, did you finish your trap? And uh, wait, what's this? Did you just replace the floor with sand? Oh, this is uh, the most deadly sand trap ever. Wait, sand trap? Uh, this doesn't really look like a trap. It's kind of just like a bunch of sand everywhere. I don't see how sand can be dangerous unless you like try eating it. Uh, no, look at this. Uh, you got to be careful, though. You do not want to fall in there. And, whoa, what the? Um, wait a minute. Did you literally just dig into the void? That is insane. And wait, how do you activate it? Oh, look, it's pretty simple. You just flick the sliver just uh, like that. Whoa, and there you go. What in the world? Oh my God. Wait, did you literally just drop all of that sand with one lever click? Yep. And I could put it all back just by doing this and boom. Whoa, what the? Oh my gosh. Okay, that is actually such a banging trap. Okay, uh, guys, we all need to get stuff like that. That is actually so cool. Yeah, you're right. Well, I've been working on an awesome trap myself. And whoa, wait, what did you do to your house? This place looks like a haunted house. You got like cobwebs everywhere. And wait, what does this sign say? Beware mobs. <laughs> that is awesome. No, no mobs are going to want to enter my house. It looks super spooky. Yeah, wait, this house actually looks awesome. I'm not going to lie. This is probably like the best looking house. Our second best looking house. Mine is obviously the first best, but oh gosh, I still need to upgrade my house. I'm kind of lacking. Uh, my house is totally the best, but you guys need to catch up. Wait, Speaker Roman, let me check out your house and oh my gosh, this is so spooky. Yep, no mobs are ever going to want to come near here. Yeah, your house is really nice and all, but guys, I just got another idea for my next trap and it is going to be super epic. I'm going to build an entire wall of cactuses just so that the mobs can't get through them. Oh yeah, I've got to make some upgrades to my house. I got to figure out something else to do. And yeah, guys, we've got some pretty nice traps going right now, but uh, I feel like we can do a lot more. Like, we have a lot of space and, you know, only a few traps. Yeah, I think you're right. I need to build more traps. Yeah, and oh my gosh, I actually got some really sick ideas for a trap, but here, let me go ahead and finish up this first, and boom, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm putting some spikes down so they can't get near my base, even if they wanted to. And, whoa, spikes, that is amazing, but alright, here, now I gotta set up my trap, and here, I need to go ahead and grab some pistons. Oh wait, I already have some, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these pistons down over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a piston trap at my front door. Well, a piston trap sounds really cool. How does it work? Pretty much, there's just gonna be a floor over here at my door, and whenever I flick a button, it's gonna open up, and all of the mobs standing on it are gonna drop into the void. Yeah, here, let's go ahead and dig all the way down to the void. Boom, there we go. This is gonna be awesome. Whoa, that means a bunch of mobs are just gonna fall right through. Exactly, it's gonna be super OP, but here, I need to go ahead and do all of the redstone for it now, and then it should be done. Since I already used lava in my build, I'm gonna put some magma blocks to hurt the mobs even more. And, whoa, magma blocks. That sounds awesome. And, whoa, yeah, your house is really starting to take shape. It looks like a big haunted mansion. Exactly. And no mob is gonna wanna come inside here. Let's go here. I gotta get my house to that level soon. But here, I need to just go ahead and put a little bit more redstone over here. And, all right, now my front door trap should be open. Wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and make this redstone go outside really quick. And, oh, wait, I need to break that door. And, all right, here, let me test this out. And, oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. I need to go ahead and put down some repeaters so that, you know, the redstone signal can actually reach. And, boom, there we go. Oh, now my front door pistol.
Distant Trap is complete. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to test this out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit more hidden, though, just so that the mobs don't see what's coming. Oh, yeah. The mobs will never see what's coming with our OP traps. Yep, the next round is gonna be super easy. Yeah, these mobs have no idea what's about to hit them, but here, let me just go ahead and finish covering all of this up, and then I should be done with this trap over here. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some fire over here. And whoa, yeah, your house is actually looking like an epic haunted house. I'm not gonna lie, your house might actually be the coolest one here. My house is kind of lacking. Yeah, my house is totally the coolest. I told you guys, ground level houses definitely beat these super high houses. And oh, wait, speaking about super high houses or sky bases, I need to do more of that stuff. My house is only like, what, a few blocks in the air. I need to make my house go even higher. Okay, here, let me go ahead and make this ladder go even higher. Come on, let's go. All right, and oh, wait, Speakerman, I just got a great idea. Do you think it's time to connect our houses yet? Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's definitely do that. Let's go, let's go. Sky bases on top. We gotta prove to Speaker Woman that sky bases are the superior type of houses. Hey, why are you guys teaming up again? me. You guys are just mad because I have the better house. What? No, we're just saying that sky bases are better because uh, they obviously are. We just don't want to be on the ground level with all of the mobs, you know? Okay, we'll see which house is better next round. Yeah, it's actually super smart to have your house in the sky. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, here. Let's just go ahead and finish up this bridge and wait a minute, Speakerman. I just got a banger idea for this bridge here. Let's go ahead and finish this up and wait, let's go ahead and uh, just like put a little block off over here. I got a really cool idea. Uh, yeah, what's your idea? Uh, you'll see in just one moment. Uh, I kind of took a little bit of inspiration from Speaker Woman's house, but it's gonna be cool, trust me. All right, I'll wait. All right, all right, yeah, here. We just gotta go ahead and finish up this hallway really quick, and then I'll be able to do it. Whoa, wait, what even are these glass? Whoa, reinforced cyan stained glass. This stuff looks really cool, but here, let's just go ahead and finish up this hallway. There we go, and all right, now I need to go ahead and pull out a little bit of lava. And oh, wait, Speaker Man, hold on. We need to do one more thing. Let's go ahead and put some blocks just going over here. Uh, you'll see what it is for in a moment. Uh, all right. There we go. Now we gotta do the same on this side really quick. Wait, what are you even planning on doing? You'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be really epic. And now that we've got all of this stuff done, I can go ahead and put some lava up here on the top and it's gonna flow down on the sides of the hallways and it's gonna look so sick on the inside. Yeah, this is gonna be so scary. Yeah, here, let's just wait for all of the lava to flow down and hopefully none of it overflows and like goes down onto our houses down there. And okay, I think we're good. All right, let's check out what it looks like on the inside. And oh my gosh, this looks so cool. It looks like an aquarium made out of lava. Oh yeah, this is the scariest aquarium ever. Hi. What are you guys doing over there? Whoa, what? What is that? Oh, well, here, Speaker Owen, check out the inside. I took a little bit of inspiration from your house, and I poured lava all over this hallway. It looks so sick. Wait, yeah, that looks awesome. Wait, speaking of houses, uh, Speaker Owen, I haven't seen the inside of your house. What does it look like? Well, it's not as good as the outside, but yeah, come on. You guys can come in. And Oh, wait, hold on. Can I check it out as well? Yeah, come on in. Let's go. And whoa, wait, this looks so cool. It literally looks like a haunted house attraction. And wait, do we literally just go through the lava? Yep, don't worry. It's fake lava i won't hurt you and oh yeah, yeah right fake lava all right let me check out the inside and whoa wait the inside is so awesome looking this place looks so defended it really is so the entrance is so that gets spooked and then i have a nice little room here whoa, this is awesome you even got this like scary skull painting on the wall this is so like halloween themed yeah i'm really trying to scare the moths and then of course are my archer towers oh this is awesome and then there's a bunch of arrows and a bow inside of every chest and wait i actually have one idea that would make this house even better okay what is it well why don't you connect with the rest of the sky bases. And, oh, yeah, that would make the house so much cooler. Mm, I don't know. Your guys' houses aren't as cool as mine. Uh, I don't think you know what cool means if you're saying our houses aren't cool together. And yeah, just check this out. This is like the most ultimate duo of houses ever. Uh, a spatula and a weird purple thing. Uh, it's not a spatula. Well, it totally looks like a spatula and a purple blob. It's not a spatula. And yeah, but this isn't a purple blob. This is a work of abstract art over here. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, it's very very abstract if it looks like that. You wouldn't know art if it hit you in the face. Yeah, I would. I have art in my room. You wouldn't know. You don't even have your house decorated. And what? Oh my gosh. Right, you know what, Speaker Man? Hold on. We gotta prove Speaker Woman wrong. We gotta prove that sky bases are the better house. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me just add one more little upgrade and this will totally change our mind. Oh, yeah. Wait, what are you gonna add? Oh, my second arm! And wait, what? A second arm? Whoa, what the? This looks awesome. But wait, where is this gonna lead to? I, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna have like my room over here or something. Yeah, we'll see who has the best house at the end of this. And yeah, yeah, I guess that's all it comes down to, whose house can survive the mobs better, so I guess we'll just have to wait for the mobs to spawn, but here, guys, come on, we still have a lot of work to do. I don't know what the next round is gonna be, but it's probably gonna be super scary. Uh, guys, I think the next round's starting! And, oh, gosh, what in the world? Uh, is that Herobrine? Oh, gosh, uh, guys, I just got put into survival. <gasps> wait, uh, speaker Rowan, it looks like they're coming for your house. Ah, they're coming 
Jennifer might as well. Wait, one of them has TNT. Uh, what is he doing? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, guys, they're going inside of my house. And wait, oh, I need to activate my trap. And, oh, wait, what the? Uh, one of them got inside of my house. He's putting TNT down. What? Oh my gosh. I was coming down to your house, but I'm fine now. Oh my gosh. How did they even get in? He got past all of my traps. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, wait, what? They broke my redstone. Ah, what is going on? Oh gosh, oh gosh. I need to use my bow on them. Come on. Oh no, I'll try to shoot them from my house. Come on. Oh my gosh, they're literally destroying everything. Ah, how the heck did they get through my void trap? Ow, ah, ah, sneaker man, I need to come to your house. Uh, hurry, come to my house, but don't let any of them come with you. All right, all right, I'm coming in. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna try to activate the sand trap. And wait, speaker one, are you flying? And wait, why is it raining? I'm ascending. And, what? Does your boat make you fly? What in the world? And, wait, speaker man, speaker man, quick, 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 get in before the mobs come. All right, come on, he's right here. And, oh gosh, oh gosh, how the heck did they get past the spikes? All right, just quick, go, go, go. We don't have time to activate the sand trap. And wait, are we safe up here? Uh, yeah, we should be, but uh, just in case, I'm heading up another floor. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I don't know how they got inside of my house. They literally got past my iron doors onto the second floor. Wait, hold on. Our houses are connected. Let's go check out the damage. Uh, they put a bunch of TNT in my house and stuff. It's not good. Yeah, let's see how much damage they've done to your house and what the heck? Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm pretty sure there is one down there. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. I'm gonna shoot them with my bow. What in the world? These things are so annoying. Ow, ow, I fell down. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Come on. I just need to use my bow on them and oh my gosh, these things actually suck. They blew up my house. I fell too. One bow. And, oh, wait, guys, I think they're all gone. Let's go. That means we survived. Yay, let's go. Let's go. We did it. But, uh, guys, we still got a lot of work to do. Did you guys see how much damage they did to my house? Yeah, they did so much damage to your house. You definitely need to upgrade. I told you. Your guys' houses just aren't as good as mine. My house took no damage at all. Neither did mine. And, uh, what? Yeah, no, that was only because I got unlucky, okay? The only reason they came for my house is because it's, like, right in front of their cage, okay? Okay, if you want to tell yourself that. What? I am not telling myself that, okay? It's all because uh, my house is the closest one to the thing. But, guys, I still need to upgrade my house a lot. Because uh, if that was the second round, I don't know what the third round is going to be. It's probably going to be, like, ten times worse. Oh, yeah, and it's probably going to get even scarier. Yeah, you're right. You know what? I think I'm going to try to use electric fences. And Whoa, electric fences? That sounds like a great idea. But, wait, guys, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all of my concrete into some reinforced concrete. This is going to be much stronger. I'm pretty sure you are using this speaker, man, right? Uh, yeah, I'm using it still. Yeah, this should be a lot stronger. Hopefully, they won't be able to get in through this. I don't even know how they got through my iron doors. Oh, it's because I had pressure plates, right? Um, oh, I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. But how did they get past my void trap? That's pretty crazy. Uh, maybe it's because you built it wrong? What? No, dude, I did not build it wrong, okay? It was a super simple machine. How could I have built it wrong? Uh, because it didn't work. That's how you build it wrong. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure what they did is like, I don't know, deactivated or, or like maybe they jumped over it or something. I don't know. Or you just built it wrong and you just don't want to admit it. Uh, no, I never build anything wrong. I'm the best ever. And why didn't it work? Uh, because they jumped over it, like I said. You no know, lying is bad for your health, right? What, dude? I am not lying, okay? That's exactly what happened, okay? Uh, my builds are never wrong. Yeah, all of that doesn't matter right now, okay? All we have to do is build better trap and survive till the next round. Come on. And yeah, speaker woman's right. All that matters right now is just upgrading our bases. So here, let's focus on doing that. And oh gosh, I need to upgrade all of my my stuff here. Let me go ahead and do this. And I need to repair all of my stuff because everything broke. Oh, yeah. I'm building my house right now and it's looking super cool. Yeah, well, it's not going to be as cool as my house. My house is about to have some turrets. And wait a minute. What do you, did you just say turrets? <gasps> wait a minute. I want to see those. And whoa, what the? Oh my gosh. These things look awesome. Yep. I'm going to put them all around my base so no one will dare come near mine. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and like uh, steal those. I'm going to place a few of these around my house as well. These things are awesome. See, I told you I have the best design. Uh, that's because you haven't seen my design. And wait, Speaker One, what type of turrets did you even use? I'm looking through them right now and there are so many different cool types. I chose the lasers. Oh, the laser turrets. Okay, yeah, those sound super cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with, let's see, and <gasps> wait a minute, there's a rocket launcher turret. Okay, I'm definitely using that. This thing looks very awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on over here and whoa, this stuff looks OP. And wait, I wanna see if these turrets actually work. Come here and check out this mob and, uh, what the heck? It's not working. And, uh, wait, what? Uh, do I need to, like, turn them on or something? Wait, speaker one, how do you get the turrets to work? Oh, did you guys connect the cables and then put a power cube? And, oh, wait, wait, the what, what, what? Y yeah, in order to use the turrets, you need to be able to power them, and you have to connect them through cables. And, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, I forgot. Here, let me go ahead and grab some of these cables and just connect them together like that. And let me also grab, like, a, one of those energy cubes that you were talking about. And here we go. Let's test it out. And... Boom. Okay, I think it should be on now, right? Okay. 
Okay, now that this is powered, we can test it here, and boom! And, oh my gosh, that is awesome! Did you see that? It just shot those rockets straight at the zombie villager. That was insane! Uh, yeah, but it took like five rockets to get rid of it. And yeah, you're right. Uh, do you know what that means? We need more rockets. And yeah, you're right. Wait, speaker man, we should like put a bunch of rockets around both of our bases. That would be super sick. Oh yeah, I'm almost done building my base, and then once I'm done, I'll put a bunch of rockets down. All right, all right, sounds good here. I'll go ahead and start putting a bunch of them down around my base for now. And I'm gonna continue putting all these turrets in my base. Yeah, guys, I think these turrets are really OP. These are gonna carry us through the next round. All right, and here, now let me just go ahead and connect all of these just like this so that they can all have some power. And oh, wait, hold on. Uh, we should probably move this energy core thingy inside of the house just in case like one of the mobs tries to blow it up. We don't wanna lose energy. Oh yeah, that's super smart. Yeah, and then we can just go ahead and have some cables that go out so that we can use those to power the turrets. This should be much better. And anyways, I think all of my turrets should be connected now. Wait, guys, do you guys think it's time to test them out with all of the turrets now? Oh, yeah, definitely do that. I want to see this. All right, all right, here, let me go ahead and get a zombie villager spawn egg. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and spawn it, like, right down in the middle here. Let's see how it does. And oh, my gosh, it took it out in, like, one second. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, that worked so well. We need so many more of these. Oh, that was nice. Do you guys want to see my turrets? And, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Whoa, wait, you have so many more. All right. Let's just spawn this mob right here and oh what in the world? Yeah, they're pretty powerful. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. We need to test that again. Did it literally just take it out in like 0.01 seconds? What? Hold on, hold on. So that does it that quickly, and then my rocket launchers. Okay, wait, hold on. They're actually both pretty quick. Yeah, but I think mine are a bit better. Oh yeah, I think we need more turrets. And yeah, you're right. Okay, here, let's go ahead and grab these turrets right over here. And wait, we need to place them on your house. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and just put like a bunch of them down over here. Oh, yeah, and let's put three on every single one of these. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely awesome in here. While you're doing that, I'll go ahead and connect all of them up with some cable to my power grid. That way they can all have power. I just gotta place all of these here. And oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Whoa, what the? Uh, wait, how many did you put? Wait, did you put like three turrets on each turret base? Yep, I sure did. And look at this. I'm gonna upgrade these as well with some range upgrades. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. But you should do the same on the ones over here on the other side. And uh, while you're doing that, let me go ahead and connect all of this to the power grid really quick. And boom, there we go. Now all of these ones should be connected and powered and wait should we test this out before we move on oh yeah definitely uh speaker woman you might want to come check this out and, oh yeah speaker woman uh we got a surprise oh yeah what is it oh check this out we got some op turrets here and wait here let's go ahead and just build a little platform down over here where we can spawn a few mobs on to test it out and all right let's see how quickly they can take them out here what? there's no way it's gonna be faster than my turret oh yeah well let's check this out boom there they all go and oh what the heck and, wait wh why was that so slow what the wait hold on we need to time that up uh, one, two, and it's all gone two seconds. Speaker ones did it in like 0 0.1 seconds. What? I don't think our turrets are the greatest. I guess the ground level houses win again. And, oh my <laughs> gosh, no, Speaker Man, we can't keep having this happen. What do we do? Uh, maybe we can find a better turret. Uh, I guess you're right, but there's not that many types of turrets. Like all we got is like the disposable item. We got the laser, the turret. I don't know what to use. What about this turret? Wait, what is that? I didn't see that one. Oh. Yeah, I just found this one. Uh, check this out. Let me place it down real quick. And whoa, wait, what in the world is that thing? Uh, wait, what? Oh, I have no clue what it is, but it looks super strong. And wait, hold on. Should we test it out on a mob? Uh, yeah, we got to connect it to power first. So let me connect it over here. And, oh, yeah, right. I forgot about that here. I guess just go ahead and do that really quick. And all right, all right, here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Place the mob down. All right, all right, here we go. And Wait, uh, wait, was that cool? Hold on. I, the rockets were shooting at it at the same time. I didn't really see what it did. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Uh, look at the giant laser it produces. And wait, what? It's not even getting a chance to produce. Wait, what? The where did it just go? Oh my gosh. Uh, wait, hold on. I think we should do that somewhere else. These rocket turrets are getting in the way. All right, well, let's go check it out over here. And yeah, here, let's just set it out over here where there aren't any other turrets. And here, let's set it up again. I'll go ahead and put another one of these energy cubes. And we just got to connect this really quick. And all right, are you ready for the standalone test? All right, yeah, I'm going to place this one down. And all right, let's place place down one of these and see how long it lasts and oh my gosh and whoa what in the world wait did it just shoot like a crazy laser ray at it wait we need to test that out again oh my gosh that is so cool yeah and oh my gosh let's see what this turret does and whoa what in the world is that wait this one looks so much more powerful it looks super beefy uh, wait why is it looking at me like that hey hey i don't like that all right well let's see what this actually looks like let me place this here and oh my gosh oh my gosh that one is so much more powerful did you see that it just shot like a big laser blast 
I did. That is so epic. Oh, yeah, we definitely need like hundreds of these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, here. Let's go ahead and grab a few of these. Wait, hold on. I need to show Speaker Woman this. Uh, Speaker Woman, you want to see something cool? Oh, yeah. What's up? And, uh, Speaker Woman, here. Check this out. We made some cool discoveries in the lasers. Uh, just follow me over here. And wait, Speaker Woman, where'd they go? Oh, they're up here. I replaced the other turrets with them. And oh, wait, you did? Oh my gosh. What in the world is this? There's so many here. Oh, I call this uh, Destroy Any Mom 3000. Oh, no. These actually look pretty cool. Uh, try spawning a mob then. Oh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Check this out. And oh, goodbye, baby. Whoa, what the heck? I did not expect you guys to actually have better turrets than me. Uh, oh, good job, but I'm going to have to upgrade my stuff. Yeah, good luck with that. But oh my gosh, Speaker Man, our turrets are actually so awesome. These things are epic. Yeah, there's no one who's going to find better turrets than ours. Uh, Skybase is on top. Let's go, Team Skybase forever. But here, let me go ahead and select these turrets really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and replace these turrets down here with these new epic ones because uh, those old ones were kind of uh, not that good. All right, fine. You guys have better turrets, but do you guys want to see what I've been building? And Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? All right, all right. Let's go through this wall of lava. This wall is pretty cool, I will say. And Whoa, what in the world is... Wait, is this an armory room? What the heck? Yep, it has all the best tools and bows and armor and everything. Oh my gosh, what the... Oh my gosh, this armor looks so cool. And Wait, what are these things on the wall? Oh, don't touch those. Those are very dangerous and powerful. And Oh gosh, okay, but whoa, wait, this looks awesome. I, I need to build an armory room. Oh, wait, human, why don't we build one together? And, whoa, yeah, that would be a great idea. All right, well, last speaker one, we're gonna build like an armory room that's gonna be 10 times better than your one. Uh, we'll see about that. All right, all right. Whoa. Whoa, wait, a uh, speaker man, I just took a look at your house. What in the world is this? I call this the futuristic super scary scarecrow. Oh my gosh. Wait, your house literally looks like a futuristic scarecrow. What? Oh my god. Okay, wait, this is actually so cool. Wait, hold on. Should we build the armory room inside of the pumpkin? Uh, yeah, of course. That's where I'm gonna put it. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, uh, how do we get in? Have you worked out an entrance yet? Oh, I could just put like a ladder on the inside. And oh, alright, well, here, let me go through the inside over here. I'm coming up to the top. And here, let's go ahead and put down this ladder. And wait, instead of using normal ladder, why don't we go ahead and use some of this iron? ladder. It looks so much cooler. Oh, yeah, let's use that then. All right, all right. Here, let's just go ahead and put this all the way up to the top. And whoa, wait, there's so much room for armor in here. All right, well, uh, what type of armor are we going to put down? Uh, I have no clue, but uh, we definitely got to make it look awesome in here. And yeah, you're right here. I think the first thing we should do is like, you know, probably get some armor stands and uh, oh, wait, here, let's get some smooth stone blocks that we can put the armor stands on top of. Uh, I've got a better idea. Why not use pumpkins? And, whoa, yeah. Okay, actually, there's a much better idea. Let's go ahead and just put these all around this room. This is going to be so awesome. Looking. And wait, 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 Speaker Man, I just got an even better idea. Just to make this place look like a bunch scarier, why don't we go ahead and grab a little bit of glass? And here, while you set up the armor, I'll go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna go ahead and put up like lava fountains on each corner of the room. All right, I'm definitely gonna be able to make this look awesome. Let's go, let's go here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bunch of glass here so that the lava can't overflow. And then I can put the lava here. Boom, this is gonna look so cool. There's no way that your guys' armor is gonna be better than mine. And, oh, why, well, Speaker Man, I don't think you've seen Speaker Man's build yet. He built like a very cool cool area for this armory room. Well, mine is definitely still better. And, uh, Speaker Man, I don't think she's seen the area yet. Just wait. She's gonna be so surprised when she sees this. Oh, yeah. She's not gonna believe her eyes. And, whoa, wait. What in the world are these weapons? Star sword? These things look sick. Yeah, they're super dangerous. Uh, careful. They're made of pure stars. And, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'll be careful with that. I guess let me go ahead and put that here. And Okay. Yeah, we need to choose armor. I guess uh, wait, is this purple armor for me? Because, you know, I'm like purple. Yeah, the purple armor's for you and I gotta find armor for me. And, wait, Speaker Man, what about the red dwarf star armor? Oh. Turn around. And Oh, wait, is this the red dwarf star armor? And whoa, what the? Uh, wait, what are these weapons over here? Oh, these are black hole swords. What the? Oh my gosh, these things look insane. All right, well, uh, I think our armory room is officially better than speaker wounds, but we need to get some gear as well, because, like, we already have armor and swords and stuff, but we should get, like, some other, like, utilities, you know, like uh, grenades. Yeah, 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 we need grenades here. I'll go ahead and do that. All right, well, I'll create some more backup sets over here. All right, all right, sounds good here. I'm just going to go ahead and put, like, the gear area over here. I'll go ahead and put down two chests over here. And <gasps> wait, hold on. Let's also go ahead and grab some anvils just in case, you know, we need to, like, repair our armor or anything in the middle of battle, so we can, like, put those there. And, all right, let's see. Do we have grenades? And, oh, okay. We've got a lot of grenades. Okay, let's see. Which one should we use? Whoa, there's so many different types. Whoa, wait. These ones look pretty cool. Hold on. I'm gonna go outside and test it out. All right, I'm almost done setting up this. All right, all right. And here, oh, Speaker Man, you wanna see this? I'm about to test out a grenade. Whoa, wait, Speaker Man, you built this? Uh-huh, sure did. This looks awesome. And, oh, yeah, Speaker Man, this is the armory room we were talking about. Do you wanna check out the inside? Yeah, let me see, let me see. All right, all right, here, follow me right this way. Uh, I'll give you, like, a whole tour. Let me go ahead and open this up over here. You can just come through, and all right, just come up the ladder. Okay. And, uh, Speaker Man, we got a visitor. Oh, uh, yeah, come on up. I'm just loading up these chests. And check it Whoa. out. This is the armor room. This room is huge. 
huge. Yep, I know. Uh, quite a bit better than your uh, little armor room. Well, I don't know if it's better than mine. Mine's cute and cozy, but this is definitely awesome. Yeah, I know. It's awesome because I built it. And Oh, wait. One more thing we should do. Let me go ahead and put these grenades in the chest. I didn't test them out, but uh, let's just hope that they're good. And oh my gosh, there are so many grenades inside of this chest. We're going to be so geared. Whoa, and what's inside these chests? Whoa, what? This is super OP. And whoa, yeah, wait, what are these? Oh, they're just some OP food that I found. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is actually insanely powerful. What in the world? All right, well, uh, I think we should be ready for the next round now, whenever they spawn. And wait, guys, speaking of mobs, we haven't checked in a while. We should probably go check on them. And oh gosh, yeah, that's a good idea, guys. We haven't checked on them in a while. Hopefully they're not here yet. And oh gosh, uh, guys, I think they are here. And uh, wait, are those vampires? Oh, wait, they're vampires. And uh oh, guys, they're ready. Oh no, oh no, I know. I have to get to my house. And, oh gosh, I just got put into survival mode. All right, quick, everyone. I gotta head back to my house as well. And wait, no, speaker man, we gotta get the armor. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, where are you going? I don't know, I don't know. I'm coming back now here. Let me go ahead and grab all of this purple armor and put all of this on. This stuff looks super awesome. And here, let me also go ahead and grab this weapon. There we go. And all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, don't leave, you still have to get some grenades and uh, that, grab one of these bows. And, oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this. And whoa, what the, the longbow of the heavens? Oh my Oh my gosh, this stuff is actually so stacked. All right, now we're good enough to go. Let's go. All right, go, go, go. And oh, wait, we went to the bottom. All right, go, go, go. Come here, you vampires. And oh, wait, I fell into your spikes. Hold on, I need to eat this apple really quick. And oh my gosh, what in the world? That one was just staring at me. Wait, guys, our turrets took him out. Oh, wait, is that it? Is that the entire round done? And, oh, wait, wait, hold on. There's one over here. We should probably get rid of this one. And oh, wait, yeah, wait, was that all? Oh, wait, there's one here as well. And wait, that was easy. Was that all of them? Are they gone? Are they gone? Are they gone? I think that was the easiest round ever. How are you on fire right now? But I'm so glad they're gone. Oh, I hate mobs. They're so scary. I mean, they weren't that scary. They were kind of easy to take out, actually. I'm pretty sure our turrets did most of the work that round. And wait, look, we're back in creative. Uh, we did it. Oh, I'm so glad the rest of them are gone. One of them came up to me, and it was super creepy, and it told me the next round was going to be even worse. And wait, what? Oh, gosh. Wait, the next round's going to be worse? Did they actually say that? Yeah, they said this was just an easy round to fool us into thinking it was going to be fine, but the next round's going to be the hardest one of them all. Wait, what? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, guys, we really got to step up our game then. Uh, the, uh, we only have, like, these turrets. That's, like, our only main trap. Oh, uh, I don't know, but uh, I have one idea. What about this? And, uh, wait, is that a missile? Yeah, it's a new. What the? My gosh, that's awesome. And I have the perfect idea for where we can put this thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we should definitely use that. And wait, where? Uh, where else would we put it besides the giant jack-o'-lantern? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that would be super cool. Yeah, I kind of wanted to put it in my house, but I do like this jack-o'-lantern, so let's do it here. All right, all right, let's do it. And all right, here, let's quickly go up to the top. And dude, we're literally going to build a missile silo inside of a jack-o'-lantern. This is awesome. Yeah, and wait, I have got an idea of how we can organize this uh, from the armory. Let's just make another floor. And oh, yeah, that's a good idea. All right. And wait, you guys know how jack-o'-lanterns often like have a candle inside of it for it to light up? This is like the ultimate version of that. We've literally got a missile inside of ours. Oh, yeah, I would not want to light this candle. Imagine lighting a candle and it's a nuke. Yeah, that would not be very good. Hopefully the nuke doesn't accidentally blow up inside of the pumpkin like now. Uh, don't say that. Yeah, you're gonna jinx it. And, oh, gosh. All right. Well, it's here. I guess let's go ahead and uh, yeah, you can extend the ladder. I'll go ahead and put them down just like this. And boom, there we go. Okay, well, we better start placing some of this stuff down. Let's put this here and this and this. And whoa, that's a lot of machinery. Uh, wait, do you know how all this works? Uh, I have a good idea. I'm sure it'll be fine. And Oh, gosh. Okay, well, uh, here, I guess let's go ahead and like build a little outline over here so that, you know, we can have like a little room for where the nuke is going to be. All right, let's put this here and let's put this here. And oh, my gosh, this is actually going to be the most OP defense ever. These next mobs have no idea what's about to hit them. All right, and there we go. Boom, and let's make an open space so we can actually see it and let's put a door here and oh, i know exactly what door i'm gonna put let me grab it from creative and boom all right there we go let me place it down and whoa yeah okay this door looks perfect there we go and we should also go ahead and add some windows so let me get some of this reinforced glass over here and let's put that down over there just like that so that we can see what's going on all right well I guess it's time to put in the nuke. Let's put this right here. And, whoa, that thing looks absolutely massive. I would not want to be the mobs next round. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of all mobs ever. Yep, and I called dibs on getting to blow it up. 
I have the remote detonator. And, oh, gosh. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess you can do that. But wait, guys, if we actually end up having to use this missile, then isn't that just going to blow us up as well? Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah. If it's the end for all mobs, then it's probably going to be the end for us as well. We're kind of mobs. So uh, how are we going to get out of here? And, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we build like some sort of escape shuttle or something? We can build like an escape airship. Oh, wait. That's a great idea. That way we can just fly away when the new kids. Oh, yeah. But uh, how are we supposed to build that? And, oh, wait. Hold on, guys. Don't worry. I know how to build airships. Uh, here, follow me. We can build it on top of my house. First, we have to build like a little runway area, though. Oh, wait, what are we doing? Why are we going outside? Uh, we are literally connected together. And, oh, yeah, right. We can literally just go through here. All right, let's hop over to my house. All right, and here we are here. Let me quickly go ahead and repair my floor really quick, just like that. And all right, guys, now it's time to start building a little runway. So uh, let's go ahead and grab some black and yellow concrete, and we can start doing that right away. And wait, I think I've got an idea of uh, what the airship could look like. And, oh, you do? Perfect. All right, well, uh, I guess you can build the airship. I'll go ahead and like put all the parts that we need on it and uh, wait here Let me go ahead and build a runway really quickly first. Oh, yeah, I'll help you with the runway Awesome here. Let's go ahead and make this look really nice. Uh, we're gonna need a bigger runway for this This airship's gonna be massive. And, wait, are you serious? Uh, okay, wait here I guess you're going let's go ahead and get rid of all of these yellow blocks over here And let's just go ahead and like make this runway like twice the size just like this. Oh, yeah, that should be enough All right, let's keep going make it super long all right, all right, yeah, let's go. And oh gosh, there's gonna be a big runway. What are you planning, speaker man? Oh, you'll see, it's gonna look epic. All right, all right, but here, let's just go ahead and do this. And wait, why are we doing this by hand? Hold on, we can just go ahead and use command. So let me select these positions and then I can run the command slash slash stack. And oh wait, I need to do it with a higher number. Boom, there we go. We can make it even longer. Let's go. Whoa, that's awesome. Yep, and we gotta do the same on this side now. So just like that. Actually, we can make it a little longer. And there we go. Now we've got a little runway. This is a very big runway, actually. Not a little runway. Yeah, this runway is great. I'm sure it'll work. Yeah, now all we have to do is add these yellow lines over here, and we should be good. Dead. Uh, wait, speaker and what in the world is that? This is our airship. Whoa, what? Did you just build another pumpkin? Are we building the airship on a pumpkin? Oh my gosh, this is actually such a funny idea. Yes, we are, and we're actually going to replace the eyes for windows so we can look outside the eyes. It's gonna look super scary. Oh my gosh, this is the ultimate horror airship. All right, well, here, let's go ahead and finish up these yellow lines, and then we can go ahead and build the actual, like, airship parts. And I'll get to working on the windows. Awesome. Sounds good here. Let me just go ahead and put a few more blocks over here on this runway. Just like that. Boom. And all right, here. I'm coming inside of the airship. Wait, how do we get in? Uh, I didn't think about that. Oh, well, let's just make a hole right here. And boom. Yeah, I guess we can just mine in for now. Let's go ahead and cover that up. And whoa. Yeah, okay. This thing actually looks sick. Okay, I guess we're gonna have like different levels. So we can have like one of the seats be over here. And then we can have like another one of the seats be right over here. And then we can have like the main captain's chair be right over here. And wait, guys, we should build like little staircases. We can have, like, this whole area be a nice little room. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be the best airship possible ever. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is actually gonna be awesome looking. Yeah, this is already looking super awesome. All right, all right. Well, anyways, let me clear out some room over here, and boom, there we go. And now, guys, it's time to add in all of the chairs. So, let me go ahead and grab some of these captain's chairs really quick. And here, I'll just go ahead and place one right over there, and I guess I'll place another one here. And then I'll go ahead and place two up here as well. Boom, there we go. And now, guys, we've got four captain's chairs. Even though there's only three of us, we got like a backup one. All right, that's perfect. And oh, wait, hold on. I forgot something. We also need to grab this thing called a physics infuser. And pretty much what this does is like turn it into an actual airship. So we can just like put that there and then put this physics core inside of it. And boom, there we go. Now it should be ready. All right, and now let's make a compartment over here for the engine and the engine stuff. And oh, yeah, right, right, right. Hold on. We can have this area in the back be the engine room. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. Let me get that really quick. I'm going to need some of these stabilizers and I'm going to need some of these engines for that. I'm going to need this wrench. Uh, I'm going to need a gearbox. Uh, what else? What else? We're going to need some of these compressors and some of these other engines. And okay, here, guys, I'll start putting down all of the parts that we need. All right, well, I'm getting these staircases ready. Awesome, awesome. And here, guys, let's hurry this up. I'm pretty sure the next wave is going to spawn soon, so quick. Uh, you're the one we're waiting on. What? No, you're already building the stairs. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, but I'm literally almost done. Wait, wait, I'm actually almost done as well. I just need to put a few more stuff over here just like this. And then I need to, oh, wait, hold on. I need to move this a little bit to the right over here. Come on. And then do this again. And oh my gosh, wait, I did it wrong. Hold on. I need to do it on this side. There we go. And boom. All right, there we go. And done. All right, all the stuff back here is complete. And boom, the stairs are done. Perfect. This actually looks awesome. Let's go. But wait, guys, we should go and check the gate. I think the next mob may have spawned by now. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. All right, go, go, go. We gotta check this out. Oh, I'm really scared about what the next mob might be. I can't believe we got warned like that. And uh, wait, speaker Owen, I see something down there. Wait, we just got switched into survival mode. What in the world is that thing? Uh, why is it so big? Uh, what is that? Oh, no, no, no. 
Wait, 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 hold on. What in the world is that thing? Hold on, guys. It can't be that scary. I want to go take a look at what this thing is. And oh my gosh, it's very scary. Get back, get back, everyone. Go, go, go. Ah, wait, run, run, run. He's right behind us. Oh my gosh, why is this guy so fast? Go, go, go. Uh, we're here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, guys, wait, why aren't our turrets doing anything? I think this guy's undetectable from our turrets. Get away. Oh no, what do we do? And, oh wait, guys, it looks like our turrets are shooting him again. But uh, wait, how does he have so much health? Why isn't he going down? Uh, I think he's invincible. Uh, what do we do? Oh my gosh, that thing looks terrifying. All right, go, go, go. Quick, everyone, we need to go to the armory room or something. I, I dropped my sword. Maybe if we get another sword, it'll work. I'm sure, let's go. I don't know how well this is gonna work, guys. I'm getting scared. And now, don't trust me, it's gonna be fine. Come on, we have some lots of OP stuff in the armory room. I'm sure something in here will work. And oh, thank you very much. Let me go ahead and grab that. And okay, I have all the armor on still. All right, is everyone ready? Uh, speaker room, do you have a sword? Yep, 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 I'm ready. All right, then go, go, go. And oh gosh, guys, uh, it looks like he's still alive. He's just fighting the turrets and he still hasn't taken like any damage. Oh gosh. I'm going in. Okay, me too. Come here, you stupid toilet mob. You're going down. And oh my gosh, guys. Uh, our swords are literally doing nothing. How much damage does this sword do? What? This sword does like a billion attack damage. And he's still not going down. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, what do we do? I don't know, but he just got rid of a bunch of grass luck. And, uh, wait, uh, you guys might want to get out of there. I think he's trying to drop you guys into the void. I think we have to head for the runway. Go, go, go. Go, hurry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to to the runway. Come on, come on. We have to go. I think it's time for the nuke, guys. Yeah, I don't think we have any other choice. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. And oh, gosh. Uh, does anyone have a pickaxe? We didn't even build an entrance for the thing. Hold on. Wait, we have to mine through the back. Uh, wait, do you have any blocks? Oh, dude, perfect. Uh, yeah, I have blocks. In. Oh, wait. Let's just go to the entrance now. We already dug out. All right, all right. Quick, go, go, go. Come on, come on. I'm getting in. Come on, hurry! All right, all right, and uh, guys, uh, I think the ship is ready for takeoff. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go! Go, go, go! All right, all right, I'm turning on the ship, and okay, we should be good now. And okay, guys, we have takeoff. We are going. Is the mob still there? And oh gosh, I can still hear our turret. That means it's still there. And oh my gosh, look at us flying! This looks so scary! Oh my gosh, I can barely see anything because there's like not that much glass. But oh my gosh, guys, I can still see the mob. He's still trying to struggle fighting our turrets. I, I think it's time for the nuke. Speaker Owen, you still got the detonator, right? Yep, yes I do. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready. Go for it. I'm doing it in three, two, one, go. And wait, where's the new gag? And uh, wait, guys, I think it's gonna come from the sky. We should see it any second now. Uh, let's just wait. And oh, wait, guys, look, there it is. Here we go. And oh my Holy. gosh, uh, guys, I think it worked. Holy moly, guacamole! That's insane. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Wait, what the heck did you say? Holy moly, guacamole! What? Hey, don't look at my language. Look at the hole. Oh, yeah, my house is gone, but at least I still got my pumpkin head. And oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, this destruction was absolutely insane, but we actually survived. Let's go. Woo! That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.